Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are in Zanzibar, Tanzania, Spice Farm Tour. We give the tour as a group of six people totally price of 20 to 40 US dollars to all included, except transportation. That was an awesome experience for me see different type of free tests and vegetables. Let's get started. The spices on the trees, some are out of the season, you will just see, uh, see the plants. So the tour will be walking, like uh, one hour walking, and we have uh, three parts. One part will be walking, next part will be uh, seeing the butterfly, the, the mm. men climbing coconut. We are showing you how we are harvesting coconut here, someone climbing like monkeys. Mm -hmm. And then next, uh, next part will be testing different uh, fruits which are from this village right okay, okay. do you have any question before we start no, no. no. hakuna matata no. okay so let's see this tree here basically everything you see in this farm it means it's growing in zanzibar okay smell please my friend, you know what is this? No. This is the muscat, the nutmeg. Mus the nutmeg. No, muscat. Ah, not muscat, muscat, nutmeg. Mm. This is the nuts we are talking about. These are shells. We don't do anything with the shells. And normally we use as a rubbish, which comes as a natural fertilizer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Everything we grow here, mm -hmm. we grow on nature. We don't put any chemicals. So we depend on rain and natural fertilizers like shit from the animals or dried leaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the nut which we are using. If you want, you can test it. Oh, yeah. This is 100% fresh, 100% organic. If you eat it, you feel a little bit dizzy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because in Zanzibar, we use we use this for making alcohol, mm. Mm -hmm. natural alcohol. <laughs> we we blend this and then we make some liquid. Then people drink it, especially women. Ah, ginger wine. Yeah, yeah. Like if that. women want mm. to have some performance like party or music or wedding ceremony, they arrange special liquid that they drink this and they can dance a lot whatever they want <laughs> and this we put as a local <laughs> islamic <laughs> traditional Zanzibar we are 95 islam so these people we pretend as halal alcohol mm. because people are not allowed to, to buy uh, alcohol from the supermarket ah. so they prepare this one from the from their home and it, it, uh, it becomes like halal so halal everybody alcohol. can use it, <laughs> it so if you make it it's halal if you make it at home yeah it's halal So if you want to plant new plants, you have to use the, this nuts to make a little hole. Then after seven years, this tree starts to produce the nuts. It can survive even 110 years. Especially oh. in the village. Simply oh. they can walk to the yeah. plant. It's very easy. You just cut a little piece of stick like this. And then you make a little oh. hole. You, you oh, make it. And it germinates the new leaves. Mm -hmm. After six months, six months. yeah, only six months, it become big and it start to produce the fruits, what? which mm -hmm. are not eatable, but for decoration. Okay. Yeah, but also you can make small nursery from the dried uh, seed like this. Huh? Uh, it will also grow. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, this ah, this is also so if you want, right? you can pick up some and you can you can prepare your garden at home. Our oranges always having uh, green color, but we still call them oranges because everything the same inside, and they're very sweet. Mm. This passion fruit. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's always growing where we have another plant. This is lemon here. The passion fruit is growing on, on, uh, on the lemon tree. Yeah. We have a big family of uh, lemon, lime, oranges, grapefruit, savera oranges. They're all big family. It looks same, like same plant. Yeah. So this is a grapefruit. Yeah. Grapefruit. They're growing bigger, little bit more than this level, and then they have to turn color from green to yellow from outside. That indicate that they are ready for harvesting, but now they are not ready for harvesting because they are still green from outside. Mm. Yeah, this is it comes from this flower normally. This one we have to cook before eating, so it has it's supposed to be a little bit bigger, like a little bit bigger than even than this size. Yeah. So we must peel it and cut into pieces. Then to boil it first, and then normally here we cook with the coconut milk, mm. with some onion and maybe ga and garlic and some soup, and then we eat it. Very delicious. Do you harvest potatoes in Zanzibar? Yes, we harvest potatoes also, also. Potatoes. but not 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 enough. We need to import some from Tanzania also. Some in some places where they don't uh, harvest potatoes, uh -huh. uh, people using bananas instead. Yeah, also we do the same, but normally uh, banana we we use for, for main dishes, like we have to cook with coconut milk. Mm. Yeah. And if we want to plant new banana plants, we have to get small banana plant like this. Mm. And then mm. you have to, we make a hole. We need to wait for seven months. After seven, seven months, it gives banana. And then we have to wait for another three months. So in total, 10 months, and then we can harvest banana. From the starting day uh, until the end, you harvest it. Total, 10 months. Mm -hmm. After harvesting, uh, another new pl banana plant will just come out and then it just continue like that. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to plant new one from here. Yeah. Otherwise, you can just remove some to plant on another place. Mm -hmm. That's accepted. Yeah. 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 No problem. We have two types of tar fruits. This is a small type and we have also the big type. The small one is too strong and, 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 and more sour. This one, this one. We basically use this one for mixing in this curry sauce. Mm. Curry sauce, yeah. Ah, curry sauce. And normally they don't have season. They always just bring. They always bring. When they finish, the new one coming. And this normally we plant just outside the kitchen. So when you cook, yeah, you just walk uh, two steps. You pick up some you need, and you put in the curry sauce. This is life in the village. Like every house having this in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah. When you girl getting married, so the the women who are coming. Uh, to, to train the, the new girl, they also come with a little plant of this, they plant outside. It has to be that way in the village. Yeah. Mm. But also you can make a juice, you can blind and then squeeze, you can make juice of it. Mm. But mainly we make this in the curry sauce. But at the moment there are no fruit on the top, they're just starting flowers, you can see. This is Azanzibar airport. That's the apple tree. They're just cutting flowers. The apples looks exactly like like the same apple you have. Mm. Mm. This tree is Zanzibar apple, huh? Yeah. In Swahili, we call it tofa. You know leeches, right? Leeches. Yeah. yeah. So this is the leeches plant. But the leeches, they are not out of season and they're just cutting flowers. These are flowers. The fruits looks like lipstick tree. Fruit, do you remember? The fruit mm -hmm. tree, yeah. So it looks like leeches. So this is a tree, leeches. Mm -hmm. But now they're just having flowers. After three months later, the fruits will be ready. Yeah. In one year, yeah, in one year we have a three-time season for leeches. 
Yeah. yeah. So which means on uh, February or March, the food will be ready. Yeah. For bike will be difficult. Down. No. Looks like for different. Ah, not that one. Not that one. This is different stuff. The one smell horrible. You can you can't even touch like this because even the outside ah. shop are very ah. sharp, sticky or something. Yeah, sticky. Yeah. This one smell beautiful. Really? When mm. ready for eating, mm. and when it's ready for eating, it sound like a like a like a carpus, right? Ah. Carpus. Carpus, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and smell beautiful inside it has uh, some parts like calamari the yellow color when you eat it it tastes like ananas or banana just in wow. between mm. yeah mm. jackfruit have you heard about jackfruit, ah, jackfruit, jackfruit, yeah. jackfruit, yeah. jackfruit. it's supposed to be really big even this level mm. it's one of the biggest fruit in the world it can be up to 60 kg or maybe 70 some, in, sometimes one person cannot carry one fruit. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It, the size depends on the on the on the on the plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In one year we have season. We have two season of this fruit. So now it's main season until uh, ending of uh, February, and then also in the middle uh, of the year there's another season for jackfruit. Yeah. So we also test this at the end of the tour. We test all these fruits. Yeah. Okay. This plant yeah. is very special and we call it queen of the spices. Ah. Because first of all, mm -hmm. every part smells different. It is very useful in many dishes. Zanjafit. In our local food, especially in Zanzibar. So, the charm is Zanjafit. It's a bit mean? correct, but not. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon. Ah. Cinnamon. Ah. She's right. She must be cooking mm -hmm. the kitchen. Good in the kitchen, yeah. Mm -hmm. We are using chai mm -hmm. tea or maybe porridge. It's very helpful for good flavor. Yeah, but, and know. also for mm. stomach pain. Yeah. So now the part mm. of the of the of the plants also smell uh, different. Ah. Mm. 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 And after harvesting, we dry on the sun yeah. and uh, it falls automatically. Mm. Yeah, okay. and you can you yeah. can harvest yeah. this with a simple machine according to the size you need. And then you can just dry on the sun, they just mm. fold it themselves automatically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the way you're harvesting, you just cut from the plants. And after three months, they're covering again, after three months later. Which means on the same place you can still harvest. So in one year, we can harvest tartan four times. Now this is the root of the tartan. Yeah. It smells totally different and we're using this for medicine. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Smell like what? Ah, bu, bu sanki bir şey, koku. Hmm. Ben biraz ısırdım da. Wix evet. gibi. Wix. Halal. We win the game, you win the game. So the the root of the of the plant we are using uh, for medicine, and normally we are boiling the the roots. With, uh, and we are arranging the big blanket mm. and then we inhale the vapor and it's always opening uh -huh. the nose and the throat mm. so in the village life this is what we do if anything happen with the flu disaster mm. or anything mm -hmm. yeah, we don't go to the hospital yeah we, that. it's very common yeah, yeah. so uh, there are two ways to plant this you can use a stick to plant but also you can use the seed. They, they also they normally have the seed. They drop down and they give these uh, uh, small yeah, plants. Ah, this one. Yeah. So you can plant this, and after six months they become too big. And they can start to harvest. Yeah. yeah, like this level. You can start harvesting. Huh? 
Burada başka you bir şey var. Can you see this plant? A vine plant. Hı hı. Parasitic plant. It's growing on another plant. Because this is a mango tree plant. But there's another plant growing. It's like passion plant. It's giving the spices you can see on the top the green small balls. Can you see them? It's Hepsini trying to get some, so, so you see. It's currently, right? No? Um, maybe, but no. But no. Look. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fresh, young, karabari bird. He's right. He's right here. You can just take one and. Karabari is the one on the outside. Yeah. The one plant. Why not? So these are young from the plant, and then later on they will turn color to become red, and then we harvest them on the on the on the on the on the red stage. We dry them on the sun. They become the black. But also you can see white papers on the market. What we do, we collect the red ones and we wash in mm. the hot water, which mm. means we are taking off the skin from outside mm. and then we dry them, we have white paper. Mm. Yeah. In wow. one year we can harvest two times. So we have so many so, so many of this production in Zanzibar. We even export some. Yeah. And we use in pilau rice, mm. porridge, everywhere. Like yeah. Any question? No. Guzal? Ah, little tree, yeah? Yeah, little tree, like this. After harvesting here, it, it brings some some branches, like three or four. So we just remain one like this. Ah. And we take the rest, we plant on other places like this. Hmm. Here they give, uh, we just, uh, uh, they remain two of them. Hmm. Yeah. But they are gonna grow? Yeah, after oh. four months later, they'll bring new ananas. Ah. And then you need to wait three months again. You harvest, you, you, you remove other branches, then the other one will bring new fruit. Yeah. yeah. Can you guess what is this? Any idea? Karanfil. Mm. Karanfil. Mm. Mm. Karanfil. Karanfil. Mm. Karanfil. Oh. <laughs> what do you like uh, to drink instead of chai? Coffee. Green tea. Really? Coffee, yeah. coffee tree. Yeah, this really? is a coffee plant. Oh. So now we're going to show you the Not fresh beans of coffee. It doesn't taste like a coffee at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just eat like uh, like like normal sweet, but after process and then uh, drying on the sun, mm -hmm. then you pour it, you pour it, you have a powder stuff, mm -hmm. and you make a coffee. So this is a coffee. This is a coffee, Zanzibar coffee uh, plant. Mm. In Tanzania, we have two types of coffee. This one, which we call Zanzibar type, mm -hmm. and the other type, uh, they grow like small plants. They have in Tanzania mainland. Mm. So those one we don't have, but we have this one here. In one year, we harvest two times. If you plant a new coffee plant, uh, which we have to plant the seed, we need to wait for for nine months. Nine months. After nine months, then it start to give coffee plants. Oh, sure. Yeah. Certainly. So we wash this in the hot water, okay. and then we dry it on the sun. And then if we, uh, then they, they turn color, they becomes like a this is like kahwe color or maybe yeah. black. And then we pond, then we have a coffee, and it tastes like a really coffee. But now it doesn't taste like a coffee. That's now it tastes yeah. sweet, like no more fruit. Yeah. So these are coffee beans, huh? We will see this. We see this normally in the market, in the local market. We have a coffee beans a lot. So if you want to process mm -hmm. yourself, you can buy fresh beans. Oh, yeah. Discover this big plant. Can you guess any idea what is a bukaram fruit? Yeah, you can see. Let the camera move away. So you see? Yeah. So this is the current field. Yeah, but I'm just 
Normally they have different stages uh, on the plant. They start with the green stage and then becomes yellow and mm -hmm. then a red stage. So the best stage to harvest when they are yellow. In that stage normally they have uh, like a like head covered on the top. After time, before uh, when when they are when they are going to to the red stage, uh, is uh, the covers open on the top and some ingredients are losing the weight. Hmm. So after harvesting the yellow ones, then we dry them on the sun and they becomes the black. You understand? And normally we separate like this. So this is the cover and this is steam. Yeah, this one we can throw away, then we have uh, this carapel. If we dry them, then we have a black. What yeah. are you using for uh, carapel normally? After food, after, right? After soup. After it soup? can be soup. soup. And you remove all the smell? Yeah. 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 Smell in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. In, uh, in making teas or in some desert. In Zanzibar, yeah, we mix this in food sometimes, like uh, chai or pork. Yeah. But also very for useful for food. Would you iron it? Ah, chest pain, yeah. If you have a carafil powder, ah. you can put in the hole. If there's a serious pain, no, that, immediately it stops. And of course, oh, in some countries, they process oh, it, sure, sure. they make something like cold oh, that they can use. We also have carafil oh, oil, mm -hmm. very useful for massage. <laughs> carafil oil, yeah. We yeah. also have carafil soap, <laughs> They're very good for your skin. <laughs> carafil soap, huh? So, this stage we can use for planting new caramphili plant. If we plant this after seven years, then it will start to give the, the products yeah, after seven years. In one year, we have two time season, like middle of the year, normally on uh, June and July, and uh, November and December is harvesting period. And uh, in Zanzibar, we, we are two islands, Unguja and Pemba. So our sister, sister island Pemba is very good for production of caramphil because it's more fertile mm -hmm. and more green for caramphil. So the government eyes is at Pemba Island for caramphil production. And it's illegally for local farmers to export themselves. After harvesting, they dry them and they must sell to the government. And then the government arranging the price for them and everything. Any question? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is we say king of the spices, because the government used to depend this for eighty percent, but now twenty percent, and eighty percent is for tourism. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So after collection, then uh, we sell to the government, and the government arranging the exporting. Ah. To and now they give you a standard price. Yeah, the standard price. Yeah. Same Co Turkey. Cooperative yeah. state. Ah, yeah, in Turkey, they can Chai a fiat Yeah. In our country, like Sweden, buying this very much in Zanzibar. And yeah. before so was, uh, was uh, y uh, y uh, British. Hmm. Uh, you know, Arabs, when were, they were here, they were trading with the, with the, with the United Kingdom. And Arabs was under control of the British. Uh, sorry, mm, yeah, yeah. traffic lights, <laughs> rules and laws, even. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah in British. Kena. 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 Kena tree. Kena plant, yeah. You're supposed to collect uh, the leaves and then dry them on the sun, mm. like this. And then you pour, you have a powder stuff. You can add some lime or lemon to make it strong. Then you can oh. paint. It can stay for one week. Okay. Yeah. Can okay, I? Yeah, maybe even longer. Huh? <laughs> maybe even longer. Maybe boil me longer. Yeah. Böyle bir şey Yağı çıkıyor böyle. Yeah, a bit similar culture around the Antarctic because our women, if they get married, they must put henna. Mm. They must put henna. Mm. Without henna, no, no bride. Mm. My friend, this place we are going to taste Savera orange. Do you know Savera orange? Mm. It looks like orange, but a bit different, especially from. Uh, from inside looks the same, but from outside looks a bit different. This is the ant house, right? Huh? This is the ant house, yes. right? Yes, ant house, yeah, exactly. Mm.
Ziyo mwanangu si mchezo. Na hiyo. Eh onmuşta ni topluyor. Bir tane daha diyor. This is called bread fruit. Bread fruit. Yeah. In Swahili, we call this shelly shelly. Bread. Bread fruit. Bread fruit. No, just fruit. It's given this then because in the in the village life, we eat this every morning. Instead of bread, we eat this. It tastes like potatoes. Ah. Yeah. So we have to cook this before eating. So we peel and we cut pieces. So we boil or we can we can fry it even. Then you eat it. That's like potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. It's root, right? Yeah, it's yeah. coming from the root like this. Huh. Mm -hmm. It normally mm -hmm. grow just this size. Yeah, then you feed. And then because you it doesn't it. like so much sun, so we plant we have where we have other plants, and uh, the other plants can make good shade for them. Mm -hmm. So when we plant this, it has to be here for the whole year, one year. After one year, you will see all the leaves. Changes to become the brown, and then that indication that the root is ready for down, and then we can harvest. After harvesting, you can use as a fresh, or you can dry on the sun and blend and use the powder. So we have chai, ginger tea, but also it's very useful for making uh, the meat soft to tenderize the meat. Ah, oh, yeah, the, 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 the beef is uh, is hard. You can blend oh, oh, together. Oh, and oh, when you oh, cook, oh. the beef will become very soft and very good flavor. Yeah. Oh, and also, it can help to open the throats if you mix with honey. Maybe you do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, my friend. This is also another root of from this plant. It's supposed to be powder when we use it. Is that the chap? Yes, that's the chap. That is turmeric. 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 After dry it, then you can use it and you have a powder. Normally, our ladies they arrange special mask with the zardecha, fresh zardecha with the eggs, and they make mask to clean their faces from pimples. It's so common in the in our local. Living. Yeah. Yeah. The way. Hmm. You know what are this? Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. Mm. Ah, vanilla. Vanilla is a viney plant, just like carabiber or just like passion. So whenever you plant this, you need to arrange something like skeleton, and uh, it's easy to climb on the top. It's the second spi uh, expensive spices in the world after saffron, right? Oh, that expensive. Yeah, saffron is the most expensive. Yeah. Saffron is expensive, but not the yeah. So normally they start with the green beans like this, and then they turns to becomes yellow, and then we can pick them up and dry them on the shadow places and the dry places, and it becomes a black and a good smell. Mm. Yeah, they're expensive because of the uh, preparation. First of all, they're hard to grow. We need to arrange uh, a lot of uh, dried leaves. They can keep a lot of moisture. But also, we don't have uh, natural bees in uh, Zanzibar. What? Yeah. You don't have? Natural bees for vanilla. Mm. Huh. For vanilla mm. only. The oh, bees no. we have for other fruits. Oh, no. But for vanilla, they need special bees. Mm. That's why the farmers, we have to come to the farms and to make manual pollination. Oh. Did you know that? Yeah, so manual you pollination. What, yeah. what bees do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For the vanilla, we don't have bees, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have to recognize which are the female flowers and which are the male flowers. And then we make pollination manually. And then we, we, we make the bunches of, uh, of bees like this. There's so many. Also, you can see them. Yeah.
Bu bu. Ya yani çubuk mu? Evet. If you don't do that, you don't get vanilla. Yeah, bizde de kabakla tuzlu vanilya falan. So in the morning before sun, yani. just come yani. you make polish like this, every flower, and you make bunches of beans in the our farm. Hmm. Can you guess? What are they? Take it. Take it. Starting with K. Ala. K. 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 If you chew, if you chew the the seed, you can feel the smell. Yeah. Mm. If you chew, especially on the, on the front teeth, you can feel the smell. Mm. Yeah. 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 English But also it's very useful for keeping away mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have uh, mosquito repellent from the lemon grasses, it's very perfect. But also we are trying to plant this very close to our windows of the house, like a garden. So they bring some smell, which they can uh, keep away mosquitoes. So they're good. About the bed smell, fruit, remember? So this ah, one here. And that one. Dorian. Ha, This is true here, do you? Ha. They're now starting, they're supposed to be bigger, like pineapple. Yeah. And then they are automatically fall down. Nobody can climb and pick them up. <laughs> the smell is really, really bad. Nobody will take them to the public transportation. <laughs> it's not like not allowed, but you will disturb other people always. Mm -hmm. So the tree grow very tall. It can survive even 300 years. Yeah, you see all those there are uh, durian tree. And in one year we have two times season. So season will be on uh, February, but also on July we will we'll, we'll be having minor season. Is it eatable? Of course, they're eatable. Oh. They're one of the very expensive uh, fruits. Really? Even though the smell is terrible. <laughs> but they're very healthy and they're very expensive. <laughs> if it's the first time to eat it, you can close your nose like this and then you try it. <laughs> For the second time or third time, you feel normal, then you just eat it and then you don't need to close your nose anymore and you just used to it. And uh, you remain with some smell on the hands and mouth. Mm. But the very strange thing is when you put water in the hole of the, of the, of the fruit, so the water uh, stay there like one minute mm -hmm. and then you use the same water to wash your hands mm -hmm. and oh. your mouth and you don't smell anything. It's unbelievable. It's like magic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is myself. I tried. Then everybody try. You just use the same water from the from the from the fruit where you take the mm -hmm. the stuff, and then you wash your hands the same water. And when you wash your, your mouth, then you don't totally smell anything. But if you wash your hand just on the tip, you still disturb other people. You Except smell very bad, right? Yeah, yeah. You smell very bad. Your mouth when you go, <laughs> you smell. Or when you use the water from from or or, or maybe you just take from uh, from outside and you take the water on the top, it, the water touching the fruit and then you wash it and you don't have any smell. It's like magic. It's uh, nearly season. After one month later, right? avocado will be ready. This avocado and this banana is we call finger banana. The one we mm. eat without cooking. Huh. The one uh, they change color to become yellow and we just eat them. Normal. Yeah, normal. Come on, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. 
this fruit, the people call it varabana or custard fruit. We have th three different names. Mm. Uh, some people in Europe believing this fruit can protect people ag against cancer. Mm. Yeah, these people. And some people I've seen they collect they collect them, taking them to, to Europe. Mm. In Zanzibar, we don't have this problem of cancer. So people are just eating as normal fruits. We call this kapok tree. What? Kapok tree. Kapok. Ah. It has uh, some fruits like cotton. Uh -huh. That's the production I produce from this plant, and we normally use to, for making mattress and pillows. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when they're ready, they're just dropping them themselves automatically, like you. And people are just picking them up. They can make mattress and pillows. Yeah. Huh? That's how someone can climb on the top. The thing is, when this plant is getting older, these sparks are getting disappearing. Mm -hmm. So it will be empty without sparks, like after five years later. Yeah. Oof. Because I was young, I guess, you know? We call it Ilang Ilang tree. Hi, Ilang Ilang. Hello, okay, just come across, please. Okay, it is known as the Langi Langi flower. Okay, but Langi Langi is so good. Langi Langi flower here, we use it to make up a perfume. Uh, that perfume it is known as the Chanel number no. zero from Zanzibar. Smell it is Chanel number zero. Yeah, Yilang Yilang. Oh, Chanel number zero. Smell it. Smell it is Chanel number zero. Chanel number zero. Okay, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to Chanel number five. I don't go by now, son. I didn't want to go. Chanel number five of Ganzibar. Venice will have a vanilla perfume. <laughs> we have a vanilla perfume. <laughs> vanilla perfume. Smell it, vanilla perfume. Apart from vanilla perfume, here we do have uh, jasmine perfume. Smell it, jasmine perfume. Jasmine. Jasmine is Jasmine, Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine. 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 We have a vanilla soap, okay? We have a Zanzibar mix soap. We have a Lang Lang soap. We have a jasmine soap. We have a lime soap, good for acne. We have a lemon grass soap, good against mosquito bite. We have a ginger. We have a lovella soap, coconut soap. We have a cloves soap. We have a turmeric, turmeric soap. We have a rose soap. You are most welcome to support the community. Oh, fresh to cut. Yeah, yeah. By the way, you can call me butterfly. You know, I want to claim the company. Photo, video, akuna matata. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. Pole, oi, 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 o
Hello again, welcome to Zanzibar. Hakuna matata yo. Hakuna matata. No problem. Oi, ni police hapa kama leo asubuhi. Hola, Tena kwa mani na upendo karibu ni Zanzibar hakuna matata Zanzibar hakuna matata Zanzibar hakuna matata jambo jambo fika pale kwanza kadani moja kiziliingia huna mgeni akakuona bana hakuna matata akufukuzie wewe unaja viko pole pole hakuna matata Zanzibar kaja akakufukuzia kweli kweli hakuna matata Malaika <laughs> Small type of mangoes and big type of mangoes. This is a small type. The small type we eat like a juice. But the big type you peel and you cut pieces. Yeah. After washing your hands, please take your seat over there. Brown, vanilla stick, and the saffron. See? Yeah, saffron. Here we have ginger fresh, cardamom, we have lemongrass powder, cumin, here muscat powder, around here black pepper powder, and this one, cardamom, cloves, cocoa, and the stannis. Okay? Matata, you can smell it. Around here we have this one, coriander powder, and we have red curry. We have this one, pilau masala, eh, garam masala. Nice one, very very interesting. 
Okay, masala is a mix. Okay, we have this one hot curry, uh, hot chili, and here we have curry powder, normal curry. This one, nice one, also. Uh -huh. You like spice? Do you use spice? Uh -huh. like spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kukuma and uh, cinnamon. Yeah, pilau for black rice. Smell it. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. For pilau masala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fish masala, paprika, eh? ginger powder. Here, biryani masala, hot curry. Chicken masala, tandoori, a lot, yeah, a lot. A lot, yeah. This is special for chicken, mm -hmm. for chicken, yeah. And the smell, please. Kuna matata, yeah. Pole pole, carefully, eh? Around okay. here, mm -hmm. And this one, the tandoori, yeah. Nice one for meat. Sauce, mm -hmm. uh -huh. nice one. And the tea masala, five spice. From here we have some for tea, and there coffee. Like this one, banana tea, eh? and this one, peppermint tea, vanilla tea, mango tea. We can smell it, mango tea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Chai ya embe, embe chai. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Cardamom. And from this we have lemongrass. Okay. Cinnamon. Yeah. Black pepper. Uh -huh. And here coffee. Arabic coffee. Okay. You can smell it. This one fresh. Not mixed. Only coffee. Mm. We call Arabic coffee. Ah, Arabic coffee. Yeah, Arabica. Mm. Eh? We have mm. banana mixer. This one, banana coffee, uh, ginger coffee, cardamom coffee, and eh? this one, cinnamon coffee, cinnamon coffee with vanilla, vanilla coffee, ginger coffee, and the coffee tea. From here, we have different shape. Okay, we have bag. This one, we have plate. And uh, Africa, okay. <laughs> we have Unguja, uh -huh. Zanzibar. This one mm. from here we get Hakuna Matata. For, for remember this, you can take it to remember this place. And here we have Do, this one, yeah, and the star, okay, some like that, and dolphin, and heart, this one. So you are welcome. Mm. If you want to buy. Acaba de ver o que eu estava falando.